So it has been a good amount of time since I've gotten in front of this camera. I'm probably talking kind of loud right now because I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't been in front of the camera for a little bit. But how you doing? How's everybody doing? I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally asking this to no one. <laughs> like, like someone's gonna respond. Actually, it'd be super cool if you, if you wrote in the responses how you're doing. I'd love to hear it in the comments below, right down here. <clears throat> I think the last update I did was when I was in Los Angeles <clears throat> and it was around March now it is June and a lot happened <laughs> in the course of three months a lot of stuff happens all of it is for my benefit whether or not I can see it within the within the within when it's actually happening uh, Long story short I got really really sick um, Basically like since August I've been depressed like very depressed on and off um, but March No April May I was just really 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 low like um, there'd be a lot of times I couldn't breathe um, I actually went to the ER in May um, because I couldn't breathe um, and it was uh, you know do doctors kept on saying they don't there that I'm just depressed that I make that I'm anxious and this and that and that could very well be the truth but I've been I've been doing acupuncture I haven't been doing acupuncture as much I've been seeing a chiropractor and that guy's amazing um Jesus it's helped a lot it's helped a lot with my breathing like to the point that it's almost not even an issue anymore like it's you know there'd be moments where I'm like god I don't like how much longer do I have to hold on to this for how many how many times does it feel like I'm gonna be choking like you know what I mean um so yeah, so I had some health things. I was extremely low energy, very fatigued, really depressed. Like it was hard for me to find meaning within life. It was I, I didn't I didn't really have a I'd, I'd wake up in the morning and I'd feel like poop, and the strangest sensation was waking up in the morning and being happy. Like and that's been happening more recently. Like I've been in a much 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 better mood. Like I'm a lot more expressive. I'm a lot more supportive and just. I'm in a better space, which is really good. So, Speak Real is kind of coming to a close. I have so much content still, I have so many interviews, but I've gotten some really, really, really exciting jobs that I'm gonna be working. Um, I'm in the training process for Soul Shop, which is a, it's a program that works with elementary and middle school youth. Essentially, what I'm gonna be doing is a workshop facilitator. Um, and I will be helping kids to manage their emotions, to practice empathy, to be kinder to each other, to relate to each other better, connect with each other more, and help them with their self-esteem, self-confidence, and just give them some really powerful tools to get through this life thing, man. Like, so much of our beliefs and um, our trauma from our childhood can have a f lifelong effects you know because that those are very 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 vulnerable times where that's where we're figuring out what the world is and what you know whether you're worthy of being loved whether or not you think you're broken or you think you're awesome and and like so <clears throat> to be able to help kids at that stage in their life is amazing so that's something I'm really excited about and over the summer I'm gonna be working for Rising Sun Energy Center I'm gonna be a site manager and another amazing organization like working with youth in Richmond Richmond California it is a nonprofit that offers free assessments to households and to communities helping households to save on water save on electricity save on resources in general so it helps the it helps the planet it helps the environment helps people to save money and it employs youth like 15 16 through 22 
um, and gives them a start in the green energy sector workforce and just a really positive job in a very safe environment with some great mentors and some great co-workers so I'm super stoked on that so it's Rising Sun Energy Center and Soul Shop and it's so it's gonna be just a really busy summer and really busy year and it's really good and because of all that speak real is kind of closing down like it's it's gonna be taking a much slower pace now um, and that's okay, you know, speak if I didn't have, oh my god, if I did not have speak real for this past nine months or so, I don't know where I would be, I have no, I don't even want to think about it, because it brought me, it helped me through so much depression, it helped me through so much depression and transitions it's always been there for me to turn to and to focus my energy and attention to oh my god yeah so you know like all things wow that was a really interesting moment I was gonna say when the river runs dry or when the inspiration runs dry, do something else, but it's really, that that's really real. Like, Speak Real has been such a huge part of my life and for me to kind of say on camera like, hey, I'm gonna be doing something else, it's kind of crazy. So, you know, this isn't gonna be the last update. This isn't gonna be the last video. I'm still gonna upload video, but it's probably gonna be on a much less consistent basis. It might be once a month. Like I said, I'm gonna be extremely busy this summer and this school year. And I want to give everything that I have to these companies and this work and this personal development, self-development. So, yeah, yo. You're still going to see interviews, you're just going to see them less. So, oh yeah, thank you. So let's see, I want to thank Green Ink. Green Ink is awesome. He's always been awesome. He's always been such an amazing supporter and amazing fan. I want to thank Kyle Cease for helping me along this whole journey, man. It's been awesome. Like he, there's, there's one thing that he said to me when he brought me on stage. He said, you know, are you ready for this? Do you want this? And he meant like with me quitting my job and everything. I had no idea that my life would ever turn out like this. It's pretty nuts. So thanks Kyle for helping me take that jump. Thank you to everyone to help that helped me to build this series and there's Oh, many people. There's so many people. I'm gonna write them in the description below. Of all the people that have helped me, it's been a lot. Um, that's about it. I got work in the morning. I'm starting to exercise again, which is really good. I wanna work out in the morning, so. That's about it. Good night. Speak real, be honest. I love you, and thank you for watching. Thank you.